Hi, I'm Captain Tedlund, editor of Saltwater Sports and Magazine. I'd like to welcome you to our video boat tours. We're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show to take a look at a brand new boat from Lures, the 37 Canyon Series. It's an exciting new boat, really a groundbreaking offering in the offshore world. This boat is really outfitted for the serious fishermen. One of the things that really struck me about this boat is this unique bench seat where you can face forward, do whatever you need to do and drive, and also if you're fishing, you sit sideways, face backwards, look at the spread. Really a unique design. You've got a fantastic fiberglass hard top here providing a lot of protection from the sun. Great layout on the helm here. Giant Raymarine electronics, easy to see in the sun. A very, very large glove compartment uh, area here for storage out of the elements. Just really a slick setup. Well, this really is the magic part of this boat, and all the advantages we're going to look at from this point forward are a result of this power installation and the redesign of the 37 Canyon series. These are the Volvo IPS drives. These are the 500s. It's also available with the 600 series. Amazing, amazing efficiency. Um, of course, they have articulated drive pods that actually rotate at about a 45 degree angle, any combination of which can let you do anything you want with this boat. Truly, truly a fantastic innovation. You know, one of the great things about this installation is that rather than what a lot of other manufacturers are doing, where they put the power plants in the traditional inboard areas, they've moved that to the back with this redesign, and the engines are actually close coupled with the drive pods instead of being jack shafted. And we're going to see the added advantage of all the room and space and storage that you gain up front. Well, this is where it really all happens for me, the cockpit. It's the center of action uh, on this boat, whether you're out fishing or whether you're cruising with your family. First, you've got mezzanine seating with an integrated sink built in. You've got fresh and salt water wash down here in the cockpit. You've got a rigging station cutting board. And then down below, an integrated freezer. Fantastic for keeping your drinks, bait, all that stuff. We come into the back of the cockpit, you've got two oversized drains and then a cavernous 300 plus quart fish box, uh, insulated fiberglass and removable so you can gain all that extra space if you want to. Come over here, we've got a 35 gallon live well, really nice oval design, uh, great inflow and outflow. Moving forward into the bridge deck area, you've got a cavernous tackle storage area here that you've got room for all your fenders, uh, up to nine trolling outfits down below. You've also got a small tackle rigging station down here, easily accessed by a stairway through this hatch. We're coming over to the starboard side of the boat. This is an option that I love. You've got a, uh, a grill here, also a refrigerator, and an additional sink hidden underneath with a Corian cutout. Well, and then you've got the second station down below here, the helm. Great visibility up high. Really can see what's going on here. Very, very similar layout to up above. You've got your uh, IPS joystick system here. Unparalleled maneuverability. When you come down below here into the main stateroom, uh, really the social area of this boat, this is where you realize this isn't your average 37-foot boat. You've got a queen-size berth here. You've got another galley with uh, electric cooktop, integrated sink, also a microwave and a refrigerator. But as you go backward in the boat, that's where you find the advantage of that IPS or outboard installation. Coming back into one of the most spacious heads you'll ever find on a boat of any size. One of the unique things about this is you have what they call the rumble seat, where this folds up, this goes back, you've got a very, very comfortable couch and a great view of the large flat panel TV. And this is really where the big payoff is from the IPS or the outboard installation on this redesigned 37 Canyon. No other boat in the 37 foot class has two heads or two staterooms. This boat does. Well, moving forward on the bow here, a lot of room up here, great area to sunbathe, come up here and have lunch. Added safety feature of this boat, this modified walk around here, uh, gives you a little bit more protection, great for kids and older anglers that might not be as sure on their feet. And then coming forward, we have the anchor locker. Great, great setup here, easy access, a Lumar electric windlass, everything you need to go out and enjoy this boat, uh, anchor up in your favorite secluded bay or uh, on the reef. Now we want to talk a little bit about the outboard version. This is something that makes this boat really unique. Lures has addressed those folks that might have a comfort level with an outboard, uh, outboard installation. They want to go up to a larger boat, they're not quite sure that they really want to go through the steps it takes to own and, and maintain uh, inboards. 
not a problem thanks to the reliable four-stroke power from Yamaha, the F-350, triple engines, boat tops out at about 50 miles an hour at 4,000 RPM cruise, getting uh, around 30 miles an hour with a little less than a mile per gallon fuel efficiency. It's a great, great option for folks that might be thinking about a larger boat, but they just aren't sure that they want to put up with the maintenance and uh, challenges of inboards. For more information about this boat and the other exciting offerings from Lures, visit Lures.com or come see us at saltwatersportsman.com. I'm Captain Ted Lund, and we hope to see you out on the water.